It's a new motherfucking day. Welcome, and today we are benching. Can you sense my enthusiasm and excitement? And, and I'm just like oozing power. Well, I'm not ready, but it is, it is a fun day for me. Uh, so, bench. And I am on to my second week of the strength phase, which means four sets of four for every single movement that I'm doing. Um, and so I've, I've changed things up. I had originally planned on doing five sets of five, back squat, front squat, back squat, plus the heavier set on Monday. But I have decided that because I'm actually not used to the heavier weight, that I am going to do a, the front squat, I'm going to do the, the different numbers. So four sets of four, three sets of three, just to get comfortable with the heavier weight and, and get mentally more confident with the heavier numbers. So on Monday, I'm doing five sets of five back squats, then working up to whatever I decide, whether it's three, two, one heavy, with the knee sleeves and the belt. Then a front squat, I'm going to do five sets of five, four sets of four, three sets of three in conjunction with all my other lifts. And then back on Friday, I'm going to do five sets of five back squats. So that is the one change that I've decided to make a two to do to my program. Other than that, everything else is remaining the same. And I'm just kind of like feeling it out, feeling out my strength. I'm, I'm debating. I'm debating if I have like a mini refeed on my race day tomorrow. Cause I'm a bit tired and I can feel that I'm not like 100%. And I'm debating if I need a, a few more extra calories or if that's just my excuse to eat more cocoa pops. But I'm, I'm obviously, I'm in that spot where I want to obviously be recovered as much as I possibly can. Strength at is, is at its maximal, but I'm holding a consistent 62 kilograms, potentially obviously bumping up to 63, depending on water retention, time of the month, and that sort of thing. So enough jabbering. I'm on to bench, which I am doing 95 kilograms, four reps. It is at that point where I could, could potentially go to 97.5, but I'm going to keep it at 95, focus on my form, uh, contact with the bench, and obviously engaging my lats, getting that nice scapular app activation uh, and driving through my feet. I've really been focusing a lot more on that because what I had originally been doing is not necessarily activating my feet from the get-go, but rather when the weight is getting sticky, whereas now I've changed it to I feel my feet from the moment I set up and I'm, I'm driving through my feet even in the setup to make sure that everything is... I don't know, as, as activated as possible. I suppose that's the best way of saying it. And I'm feeling that my strength is a little bit more consistent with that little change of keeping my feet as, as contactile as possible. Anyway, I'm jabbering enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change to just the, the sports bra. The one person commented, and they're like, do you struggle with sliding on the bench? And the answer is yes, I do, which is why as a female, I'm lucky enough to be able to, to bench in a sports bra. For guys, I don't know how you could either chalk the bench or you could just take your shirt off. And I have seen shirts that have like a sticky print on the back, which is designed specifically for benching purposes. So you could also look at that. So just you know, see what works, but obviously being as tactile to the bench, and yes, I am doing a power lifters bench press. I'm not doing like a bodybuilder's bench press where my back is flat and there's no arch, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I'm obviously trying to purposefully lift as much as I possibly can. Oh, I think she's about to take your. Okay, perfect. Right. We're just, we're just making sure that the, my spot is, spot is not taken because I'm talking too long and he's like, would you shut the fuck up and lift? Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. So even from the get go, I'm trying to make sure that my feet 
are activated. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Nothing but a peanut. Okay, so definitely I'm just focusing on all the little cues to make sure that I'm more consistent in my lifts and that every single time I'm kind of like I've got my little cues, you know, make sure my feet are flat, make sure that my fat scapula is engaged, make sure that my lats are engaged and I'm feeling that almost bending of the bar. You can obviously you're not bending the bar, but I'm engaging my lats enough that it feels like I'm, I'm bending the bar. And I feel like because I've never actually taken powerlifting seriously, like I entered a powerlifting comp in 2019 when I was off season bodybuilding and I did really, really well. I broke some records um, and I was really happy with it, but I didn't actually train for powerlifting <laughs> and I've never trained powerlifting. So this is the first time I'm ever actually sat down and gone, I am going to spend the next year or two years or three years trying to work towards that goal and seeing what I'm actually capable of. And yes, I'm not in the prime of my life. I am 36 years old, so it is not the best time. Like I saw the one post by Steffi Cohen and obviously she's, she's an insane power lifter or was now she's converted to boxing. But she, the reason she's switched over to boxing is because she feels like she's been in the prime of her life for power lifting and her numbers are only going to deteriorate from there. And I'm kind of like, oh, well, you know, she's still in her twenties and I'm 36. So I, I missed the prime <laughs> for seeing what I'm actually capable of, but that doesn't mean I can't still push myself as much as I physically can. And I, I so far in terms of body weight percentages, I am the strongest that I have ever been. And this is just two months. Is it two months? Yeah, it's about two months. Yes, it is. It is literally eight weeks. Yeah. Eight weeks huh? since I have like sat down and gone, I'm going to make this shit happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm two months into my strength phase and I'm giving myself as long as it takes to hit my goals of a two times body weight bench, three times body weight squat, four times body weight bench data. That is my only iffy one. It's kind of like, will I be able to hit that, that four times body weight deadlift? But regardless of that, I'm fucking excited. So this is feeling really good. As I said, I'm just focusing on that drive through my feet today. In particular, I'm feeling a lot more, more sturdy, stu sturdy. And that's what I'm focusing on is just lat activation, drive through, through my feet, making sure that my chest is, is full and everything is as tight as I possibly can so that every single rep is consistent. It feels the same. And I know that when I set up, I'm in the best possible position and I'm just reiterating the movement again and again and again. So if I do, if, at any point decided to compete, I know that when I get into the setup, it is consistent every single way. So yeah, so that's bench. Uh, front squat, as I mentioned, I'm doing four at four as well. So I actually manage the same as I'm benching. As I, I, I've got a really weak front squat compared to my bench. Or maybe it's a, I've got a strong bench pressing compared to my front squat. But regardless of that, my numbers tend to match up. So I manage four sets of four on 95 kilograms for my front squat. I'm managing four sets of four on my bench press. But but I probably could have done 97.5. It's that on that edge where I'm like, could I? I don't know. So I didn't want to push it. But so far, so fucking good. We're, we're happy. We're grinding. We're pushing. I was thinking of showing you how to do some push-ups and the progressions towards a one-arm push-up later on today, but I'll see how time goes. But so far, we are smashing it.
Let's keep on rolling, baby. Let's keep on going.